What's up everybody? Brad here. And uh, I got myself a new project last night. So uh, I'm gonna unload it out of my car because I didn't last night because it was raining. It, it's raining a little bit now, but not as bad as it was last night. But, so yeah, I'm gonna show you guys. Got it back here. It's a, had a little bit of trouble, you know? Had to move that passenger seat up, but yeah it's a it's it's a frame but i i've got some ideas for it so yeah i'm gonna unload it and show you guys some more about it all right i got it out here leaned up on the side of my shed so uh i paid a hundred bucks for this thing and uh i think i can really sell like a lot of the parts i don't need and get all that back so yeah probably sell this this I don't know how much but I could sell this for a good amount the silencer and then I'm not gonna need the wiring harness because uh, my plan is the plan is to uh, I'm gonna put a Chinese engine in here uh, Chinese 250 cc's 250 cc engine in there four stroke which I mean this uh, th this bike was originally a two-stroke. It's a 1978 Yamaha DT250. So yeah, this bike was originally a two-stroke, but I'm gonna swap it to a four-stroke because why not? I can do whatever I want. So like, I, I really like the idea of this project because it's, it's just a frame, so if I wanted to, I could buy like a tank for, you know, some other different brand and buy a, buy a seat for a different brand or whatever and just make it fit. But I think I'm, I think the, I am going to buy a seat and a tank that is for this bike. Um, I noticed this, this is kind of weird. It's got like this, this shock that goes into the frame and everything and comes up right here for the swing arm. That's a little strange. Um, uh, this bike is originally a enduro bike, so it, w it was street legal. Not anymore, obviously, and it's not going to be because I don't have the title, so yeah. I could probably sell, I'm gonna sell this, this ignition coil, this wiring harness. I don't know if this is like OEM, but if it is, I might sell that. I doubt it. I doubt it's OEM. Sell this a silencer. I'll just leave this fender on here. It's kind of a little bit trashy, so I don't know. I might put like a different fender on there, like a generic kind of fender. Um. So yeah, uh, it sucks. I can't put this front wheel on because uh, it's missing this. Oh freak! It just fell over. It's missing this cap right here. So and a stud. So I can't quite put this front wheel on. Well, I mean I could, but it wouldn't be bolted on. So I might do that. So then it's easier to move around. So yeah, that's my plans with this thing too. Put a Chinese engine in here and get a tank and a seat and ride it around have some fun so yeah one more thing i forgot to add is that with uh with this bike is i'm going to be really trying to track the uh expenses you know because i really want my goal is to have this thing rideable in under a thousand dollars spent so yeah i think uh so I'm gonna really keep track of the spending. And so if I sell any of the parts I don't need, I'm gonna subtract that obviously. So I'm gonna subtract that from the total. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna try and sell this uh, muffler silencer thing and the wiring harness and that coil for, to at least try and make the money I spent on this frame back. And uh, yeah. And if I decide I don't want to actually put a China engine in here, I can sell some other parts from this and strip it, strip it clean. But I don't want to do that. I really want to put a Chinese engine in here and 
have some fun with it. So yeah, I'm gonna keep track of my expenses. So. Mm-hmm.